In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, one more example of mathematical induction. So let me start with the question. Okay, I've already solved this problem. I'll go step by step. Prove that 41 to the power n minus 14 to the power n is divisible by n. I didn't write one thing that n belongs to n. Okay, that means n is a natural number. Okay, now n, you should be knowing by now, are natural numbers from 1 to infinity. So this is a set of natural numbers. Okay, so let us get started. So you st always start with mathematical induction, you start with the with the statement that you want to prove. So this is basically a statement. So we are saying P of n is 41 to the power n minus 14 to the power n. 14 to the power n is divisible by 27. That's what we want to prove. That's our, uh, you can say, base statement. Okay, so what happens? You start with P of 1. So we know P of n is 41 to the power n minus 14 to the power n. Now we know n 1 is the first natural number. You start with 1. So p of 1 is 41 to the power 1 minus 14 to the power 1, which is 41 minus 14, which is 27. That's fine. So what does that prove? That p of 1 is true because 27 is divisible by 27. Okay. Now the next statement is crucial. So what do we say? So let p of m, which is 41 to the power m minus 14 to the power m, be true. Be true means, which implies that uh, 41 to the power m minus 14 to the power m is a multiple of 27. That's what we mean by saying it is true, is a multiple of 27. Now, if it's a multiple of 27, or it's divisible by 27, you can make this assumption or make this statement that 41 m, 41 to the power m minus 14 to the power m is equal to 27 lambda. Okay, where lambda is a, where lambda belongs to n. And from this, if you make this the subject, 14 to the power m, you can understand that is 14 to the power m minus 27 lambda. I didn't write here, so let me write here. Lambda belongs to n. Okay, that is important. Okay. Okay. Now the next is this is a crucial step or the most important step. Till here we didn't do anything. So now we say, okay, what happens if instead of m you have m plus one? That means you got one number next to m. Means if m is phi, what is p of six? <coughs> Excuse me. So p of m plus 1 will be 41 to the power. Instead of m, you write m plus 1 minus 14 to the power m plus 1. So now if this becomes same thing. Here this is a change. 14 to the power m times, this dot means times, to the power 1. Okay, this is pretty simple. Okay, now we have to look back. What is 14 to the power m? We have said that 14 to the power m is 41 to the power m minus 2 lambda. So that is, this is this. My dot, dot means times 14 to the power 1. I'm going very slowly so that you understand. Okay, now the same thing, this can be written as this. That is 41 to the power m times, that is dot 40, 41 to the power 1. Now, here I have expanded it. So, that is minus 41 to the power m times 14 to the power 1. And negative and negative makes positive. 14 to the power 1 times 27 lambda. Okay. So, this is nothing expanding. Nothing uh, great here. Nothing so here, yeah, what have I done? I have factored out, I have factorized 41 to the power m from this group. Okay, so from this group, if you factor out 41 to the power m, you can take away 41 to the power m, yeah. So that becomes 41, take away 14, yeah. 
see it's always good to check and that's why I always already have made the video so that I can see my mistake so that is 41 minus 14 yeah okay so what happens now now 41 minus 14 you should know it's 27 this is this 27 plus 14 the same thing written down okay now what can you factor out okay I don't know why I put this so can you factor out a 27 yes you can so if you factor out 27 it's 41 to the power m plus 14 lambda now this has this is this is a number okay this is a natural number because m is a natural number 41 to the power m would be a natural number n is a natural number so 14 times so this whole thing would be a natural number would be a natural number a natural number times 27 would be a multiple of 27 or would be divisible by 27 so this would be whatever m is or whatever lambda is doesn't because m and lambda are natural numbers so this whole thing would be natural number so we have proved that this is actually we started with p of m plus 1 okay so we are we have come with this statement this implies that p of m plus 1 is a multiple of 27 and that's what we wanted to prove so this is what is a multiple of 27 means it is divisible by 27 okay so let me take the blind off and hence p of m is true that's what we started with and with based on this we have proved this is also true and that is enough to say that our initial statement is divisible by 27 stands true see you in the next video